Happening today, Miami-Dade Public School Superintendent Alberto Carvalho and Miami-Dade Mayor Carlos Jimenez will sign an agreement providing more than 100 officers to elementary schools and K-8 centers across the county. The agreement comes as the district makes a last-minute scramble to comply with Florida law to have a police officer assigned to every school. Well, Miami-Dade Schools announcing Thursday they've come to an agreement with the City of Miami Police for officers to be stationed in schools there, but other cities are still without police contracts to cover all schools. CBS 4's Ralph Creighton is live in Miami with the latest. Real. The Miami-Dade Mayor, Miami-Dade School Superintendent and the Mayor of Miami will be meeting here at the school board building this afternoon to sign a memorandum of understanding that's dedicated to providing those 100 plus officers to cover all the schools. Miami-Dade now dealing with the same problem that Broward schools faced just days ago. Essentially what was an underfunded mandate in the wake of the shooting at Stoneman Douglas to have an armed officer on every single campus. Miami City leaders meeting with Miami-Dade Public School Superintendent Alberto Carvalho as the school district struggles to figure out how it's going to meet a state mandate to provide an armed officer at every school come Monday morning. New legislation was put in place following the massacre at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas in February. This has been a daunting challenge, a massive challenge with a very tight timeline and insufficient funding for it to be realized. And from the very beginning, our artic articulated our plan that we would rely on partnerships, collaboration, cooperation with municipal and county leaders. The latest city to commit law enforcement officers to secure schools, Miami Police Chief George Kalina telling CBS 4 News Thursday afternoon he could not commit the 34 officers needed because that would take away resources from high crime areas. The things changed following Thursday afternoon's meeting. Finally today, at, at the last minute, we were able to come to an agreement where through uh, various different ways of, of being creative with our resources. Chief Kalina says the city is going to manage providing the officers by paying some off-duty officers, using officers from other districts, and utilizing officers who are working on a different capacity. Miami Mayor Francis Suarez assuring residents there are enough officers to both secure schools and the community. We have about 1,300 officers uh, citywide, about 400 that are beat officers, and, uh, and that means in any given moment there's over 100 on any given shift. Now, we learned late last night that Miami Gardens has agreed to provide 10 officers to secure schools there, but that still leaves South Miami and Homestead without enough officers to cover their schools. The district promising, though, that come Monday, every district, every school, rather, will have an officer to guard their campus in the district. We're live in Miami. Rael Creighton, CBS4 This Morning.